Peter Bar just won day one of FNCS Grand Finals by over 100 points, continuing one of the most insane runs of dominance we have ever seen in Fortnite. If you look at the leaderboard as well as their average match history, it doesn't even look real. We start off with an eight elimination third place, then a seven elimination second place, then they got back to back seven elimination wins, then they finished off the tournament with a five elimination eighth and a seven elimination fourth. The reason why they didn't win every single game today was because one of them died in the mid game and the other one was forced to solo clutch, but each time one of them died like in game one when Poyo died early Peter Bot was able to solo clutch 62 points by himself and then I'm pretty sure it was in the last game Peter, Peter Bot died early to clicks and then Poyo was able to solo clutch like the eighth place I'm pretty sure that was in the fifth game actually excuse me not the sixth game but I mean it's honestly just insane to me like how much expectations were on these two kids right here to be able to perform at the highest level like they have been crowned the grand finals champion for almost two months now and before grands even happened and so being able to perform on grand finals day as well with all the pressure on you is still just super impressive in general major props to both peterbot and polio for how insane that they have been playing so far there is a couple of things that i am concerned about for day two but there is also some very easy solutions something that we saw towards like the fifth game is they were starting to struggle with storm surge which is what a lot of people were worried about before grand finals is how they would be getting their surge if they're uncontested and they were starting to really struggle with their surge going into the fifth game that is actually how peterbot ended up going down to clicks but another thing about tomorrow is tomorrow is 1.5 times points multiplier as as well as you get six points per every single elimination that you get so i'm honestly expecting at least a couple of teams to be contesting peter Bob and poyo tomorrow and that can either go very very good for them because if they're able to eliminate the teams that are landing on them that is how you figure out your surge right there but it could also go very very poorly for them and they could obviously die off spawn as well as we do have kanada slowly creeping up on the leaderboard kanada and cooper won two out of the six games today so pretty much tying how many games peter Bob and poyo won if we look at the actual rest of the leaderboard though we have Bryson Bolts in third, a very underrated team. We have Re and Rituals, who are actually my second place prediction team in fourth place. So my predictions are looking pretty good right now. Baka and Pars in fifth, Threats and Sphinx in sixth, Paco and Mixon in seventh, Aviv and Chubbs in eighth, Batman Booga and Rapid in ninth, and then Walkers and Fatch are in tenth. We have some really big names struggling. Obviously, like Clicks and Epic Whale, they're in sixteenth. They just really have not looked the best today. We have Dukes and Miro in twenty-six acorn and cold and 31st i'm pretty sure i had them like fourth in my fncs grand finals prediction so them so them being in 34th is obviously very disappointing i'm very curious to who you guys actually think is going to have the biggest comeback tomorrow to me i personally think it is going to be acorn and cold just because they did finish pretty strong like they started off really weak but then they're also fighting off spawn so it might be a little bit difficult but maybe also a team like miro and dukes i feel like they could also have a very good day too as well as maybe clicks and epic whale as well like literally any team on the looter board could could completely jump up tomorrow like the leaderboard we have today could look completely different than the leaderboard we have tomorrow so that's a paco and mixon also the first eu teams to really go into na they're in seventh place in their first ever na grand finals so that is super impressive they finished the day off with two second places and then just pretty much mid matches other than that if you guys have been enjoying the recap so far make sure you subscribe to the channel if you guys are new this is my first time trying out a video like this so let me know if you guys like this style of video or not in the comment section down below we're trying to hit 50,000 subs by the end of summertime so you guys just want to sub up to the channel right now it would be greatly appreciated make sure you guys turn on notifications as well because you already know we're going to have another video coming out tomorrow as soon as grand finals is over you just go get out on the Fortnite app shop you guys will support me even more it is the best way to support me and helps me to continue to make videos like this let's get back into the video though as of right now if i had to make a prediction for tomorrow i would say that peter Bot and poyo are going to be able to close out fncs grand finals and win the whole tournament i know a lot of people right now are really concerned about tomorrow with like the point multiplier and everything and if they are going to get contested or not but honestly though in all reality who is even going to contest them that would be able to beat them off spawn like nobody knows the drop spot of grim gate as well as peter Bot and polio do so even if they are contested tomorrow i just don't think any team that's contesting them is going to be able to beat them like literally look at any team that's even tried to contest them this season they've all just absolutely got clowned on by the whole community for by getting absolutely wiped every single time going like 4-0 against them making whole teams split with each other because they're too scared to contest them like the aura that they have on this region is just absolutely insane we've never seen the the fear factor of any player in the game i feel like as much as we do with peter bot the last person i've ever seen that's like scares their opponents as much as they do is unknown army back when like aim assist was broken but peter bot right now is just one of the scariest players to fight in the world other than that that was pretty much all today's video i want to hear your guys thoughts about this in the comment section down below let's have a little discussion down below i'm be i'm very curious if you guys think peter bot and poyo are going to be able to close out this grand finals let me know what you guys thoughts about this on the comment section down below and i'll catch you guys next time Peace out. The points here, they don't have any materials, so this is really a desperate 
attempt at trying to earn any points possible right now. Meanwhile, of course, Boyo and Peterbot have made their way down from the high ground here, and in the end,